okay next our javascript part from here we are going to import something from here as well import first we are going to import a reactive actually at first let us give this view reactive and on mounted on mounted ok here you can pass props ok and ok inside this setup we are going to declare our state so just write const state is equal reactive and this is an object type so we need to pass an object first object will be club this is our current club and it will have a name of null initially and it will have league of null initially ok next we will have a club list club list this is also empty initially and we will have update update of false and update sorry this should be is loading loading false one more thing if you do not want to write html like this you can get the source code from the description as of this video so feel free to use that you don't need to write by yourself as well mounted mounted and in here we will have a callback function and this is a asynchronous function so we are using async so we can use await inside this function otherwise we can't use it ok and one more thing inside source we are going to create one more folder with name of graphql all the graphql stuff we are going to make separate from here as well from this fuges ok so it will be easier you can write everything inside this own file but i am just making it separate so it will be easier to understand create a folder uh, let us create few files first will be you can name anything you want queries second one will be mutations i am just making it queries and mutations so it will be more easier to understand const get clubs and this is a also a asynchronous function so we can use await in here as well ok first let us use fetch api and this would be our url url sorry url this base url will be since we have only on url so post url is equal http double forward slash localhost 8000 because our server is running on 8000 and all the requests we are going to made in 8000 graphql once again let me check it out uh, here it is ok this is our port number and this is our host ok so all the request we are going to made here and we will have few option comma the option of method will be get sorry all the method will be post
there is no get method in GraphQL. Add headers, headers, content type is application JSON. Application JSON. Actually, let's keep all the option outside of this so we can just do like this const options is equal this object so options i just added on extra curly basis which is not which is unnecessary and we can do like this method headers then we have body in body we'll have to use json stringify otherwise it will not work okay in json stringify we'll have a object in json stringify we'll have a object okay in this object what we need to do is we need to make a query so the same way we made query in graphical we need, we can just paste it here as well okay but the problem is we can we can do like this okay we have to put a semicolon and use back ticks okay here it is it's working perfectly but the problem you have to add some indentation so it will look better okay let's add some indentation okay it's looking great now and this is our query and this is what we want we can we can return just only name and link okay we can get rid of id but i'm going to get all of them so just do like this and we have to use we have to store it inside not result let's make it response is equal here we have to await until this finish this fetching finish we have to await here after fetching just we can do like this text is equal await response dot text okay the, the here we can get as text format let's let me try cost sorry this should be log let me log out and try how does it look response save it open your browser actually we haven't used this get class anywhere so we need to import here as well before importing we just need to use s exports export get clubs okay we can use this format to export and import here as well import from dot forward slash sorry this should be single or double curly basis double 
double dot forward slash it will go on one step backward go to graphql inside graphql we have queries in queries we have get class here we are going to use this get class so let's do it const all clubs is equal await get clubs okay after getting all the clubs what we can do is state dot club list is equal all clubs we can set like this so let's try it out open your browser reload right click inspect element go to console from here you see we may get an error it says we have a error for co course so we need to set uh, we need to fix this error from our server so go to index.js from this server folder once again open your terminal view terminal here which terminal is blank this one go to server we have to install a package called course and we need to give the permission to uh, use our api so this is hot course here here let's declare here course is equal require course and this course below after connecting to mongodb then we can use this middleware app dot use course that's all you need to do enough and make sure your server is running successfully in my case it is running successfully reload the page okay it's giving a error bad request but it is not showing the same error as course oh, why this is a bad request go to network i think something went wrong with uh, error uh, post body send invalid uh, json string this is the error we are getting we need to send a valid string okay here is the problem we are using this body inside headers which is not good we need to use this body below this headers okay below this header we have this body attribute okay control shift i once again go to the browser reload the page you see there should not be any error okay we are not getting any error and check the console log and it is successfully okay it's response back successfully that means it's working